Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use shift lock on Roblox. So if you want to use shift lock, then just follow my steps and you'll be able to use it in just a couple minutes. But first thing that you need to know is that for shift lock, there are a couple of games that you uh, that don't allow you to use shift lock. Shift lock. So I'll show you guys exactly what I mean by that. So let's say I hit in, head into this game, Vehicle Legends, and let's say I want to use shift lock in it. If I head into the game, and I click play right here, as you can see, if I tried to go to the setting where you use shift lock, it will say shift lock switch set by developer. That means I can't change it no matter what I do, and I won't be able to use shift lock in this game. Now, if you have a game like this, and then you won't be able to use shift lock at all in this game. So stop trying to use shift lock in that game. But if you go to another game, let's say I play Tower of Hell, and I head into the game, on this game, you can actually use shift lock. So to use shift lock, you just wait for the game to load up real quick. And once it has loaded up, you want to click on settings and then you want to, or escape in the top. And then you want to go to settings, which is one of these options at the top right here. Once you go to settings, there should be an option at the very top that says shift lock switch. All you have to do is make sure that that's turned to on. And if you do that, then once you head back out over to your game, just click shift on your keyboard and you will be able to turn on shift lock as you can see here. Now I can turn it off and if I turn it on, then it will just make it like this. And then instead of you having to follow this uh, character with your screen all the time, it does it automatically for you. So wherever you're facing, it will automatically turn that way. So that is how you turn on shift lock on Roblox. So I hope this video is helpful. If it was, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. If any questions you have in the comments section below, I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll see you guys next time.